Hi, I'm Eco Heidi Borchers. I love to recycle these cardboard coffee cups. You can make so many different things. I'd made roses before, but today I have a special technique on how you can use it for wall decor. I'm using one of the Aline's Tacky Pack. This is the one that has the Aline's Super Thick Tacky Glue. First thing we need to do is to cut the cups apart, and we're only using the top for this project because I like this little rolled edge for my flower. So you go down on the seam. The petals are going to be between an inch and three quarters and two inches. And then just cut all the way around. Don't throw this away. There are lots of things that you can make with it. Now you are going to need about probably four or five cups. The first one that I just cut will be perfect for the center of the flower. And what I did was I just kind of rounded the edge there and then just kind of roll it in your hands. And that's going to be our bud. The rest of them are going to be cut apart, smaller petals to begin with. We're going to curl the edge or just kind of curve, give a little rounded edge there on each one. For each petal I score the bottom of it all about a quarter an inch and a little bit rounded and that will give me my shape, help me with my shape of my petal. And this is a piece of craft foam. Cut up to the, each of the score lines just about every quarter inch and then just shape it and give it a little curl. You're going to do this with all the petals and you probably need oh, about 15 or 20 assorted sizes of petals. For the base of your project you can use a stretch canvas or you can also go totally eco and use a cardboard box. Just kind of figure out where the center is, put a little mark and that's where you're going to put start with the bud. I'm going to use my Aline Super Thick Tacky Glue for a permanent bond and I'm going to use my glue gun for a quick bond. And so I'm going to put a little bit of glue along the bottom and use some hot glue to hold it really quick. And you just want to start rolling. Put a little extra glue at the very end and just hold it until the hot glue cools. Again, as we put this together, we're going to use a little bit of the Aline Super Thick Tacky Glue and a little bit of the hot glue. That way we're assured that we're going to have a permanent bond and then the hot glue is going to hold it really quick. Now all those petals that we prepared, we're going to start to glue them on. A little bit of the Super Thick Tacky Glue and a little bit of the hot glue. And just keep adding all the petals until you have a full flower. For the leaves, just cut out a leaf shape. If you need help, just go out to the garden and get a leaf and just cut a shape out of the side of the cup. Use a pair of pinking shears on each side and do a double cut. So you're going to do once and then go over and go over again to get that little tiny, really neat edge. Do it on both sides. Take a stylus, go right up the middle for the vein and give it a shape. Put some glue on it and just put it in place. Now we're ready to paint the whole project. I'm using a flat black spray paint. Now remember you can just use an acrylic paint and you can brush it on but I just really quickly I'm just using the spray paint and use it in a well ventilated area like outside. After the black paint dries you're going to use some different color acrylic paints and just begin to brush them on. I like to start with a darker color first and then go to the lighter colors. This is my finished piece and you can see how all the colors are layered. I even have a little bit of purple that I put on the top because I have a little purple on the background. And it's basically just a dry brush. A little bit of dry brush on the leaves and you have a perfect project for your wall. The Aline's Tacky Pack featuring the Aline's Super Thick Tacky Glue is available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.